been set. The war medals are often the most prized possessions that veterans have, so losing an award would be very hard for any veteran, especially for 87-year-old Lorraine native Donald Zay. That's because his war medals were stolen. Zay went to Germany and saw combat right away. During his four-year stint, he was awarded many medals. One was the Purple Heart for being shot in the head. He kept all of his medals in a cigar box, but when Zay was in the process of moving last year, he noticed his precious medals were gone. Zay is home, but in hospice care, and with the help of his social worker, Karen Lear, and her friend, they are on a mission to get these medals replaced. They're very important, because I went through a hell of a lot, and I earned every one of those medals. Now, Zay was also the personal driver for General Douglas MacArthur, who gave him this flag. We will continue to follow the story, and we will let you know when his medals are replaced. Well, he was one of several Marines killed in Afghanistan by a roadside bomb. And tonight, Marine Lance Corporal David Hall was remembered in a special ceremony. Two new state highway signs were unveiled that were named in honor of the Lorraine native. The highway signs will be posted along a portion of Route 2 in Lorraine County. Hall was killed in Afghanistan in 2009. All right, the big chill is coming our way. A little uh, hint of fall in the air, I'll tell you, if you're going to see 60 degrees for the rest of the week. Coming up. Next, Jackie Kennedy, a former Secret Service agent from Cleveland, recalls a wife's actions during her husband's assassination. She had the president's head in her lap. She wouldn't move. Birth control. It seems like the pressure is always on the women. Now there's a new contraceptive that puts men in control. Plus, Target's website shuts down when shoppers go crazy for a designer's new collection. Next. This is television station WBWS. Times have changed, and so have we. Today, News Channel 5 is much more than a television station. With more journalists on the street, we're gathering more local news. And we're delivering it all to you. On your schedule. Where you want it. How you want it. More news connecting you to our community. We're News Channel 5, keeping you connected 24-7. That's on your side. Years ago, I lost my job as a firefighter because my city ran out of money. So as mayor, I'm working to fix my city without laying off good people or raising taxes. That's why I support Issue 2. It'll help us rebuild our cities, save jobs, and tax dollars. So when I hear Issue 2 opponents claiming it will harm government employees, I know from experience it's just not true. Join me in voting yes on Issue 2. Do as I say, and no one gets hurt. Easy, Mr. Bank Robber. Time out for little Arby's. It's good mood food. How about something off the Arby's value menu? You'll love this, since clearly you're short on cash. It starts at just a buck. Magnificent. Bye-bye. You drive safe now. Only Arby's value menu has all your feel-good favorites, like mood-enhancing curly fries and our classic junior roast beef, starting at one happy buck. Arby's, it's good mood food. Earlier tonight, ABC News aired an exclusive report of never-before-heard-of be never recordings of Jackie Kennedy. A former Secret Service agent from Cleveland spent time with her nearly every day during her time at the White House. Paul Landis was with Mrs. Kennedy when her husband, President John Kennedy, was assassinated. Landis spoke with Leon Bibb about how he sat with Mrs. Kennedy back in 1963 in Dallas as the president was rushed to the hospital. I moved up to the president's limousine. Mrs. Kennedy was sitting there. She had the president's head in her lap. Um, I tried to take her by the shoulders to take her out of the limo. She wouldn't move. Clint Hill came around the other side and he mentioned something to her about we have to take, take him in. And he took off his coat to cover the president's head. Yeah. Landis had been assigned to, the, to guard the Kennedy children at the White House. On the presidential trip to Dallas, while doctors were working to save the life of President Kennedy, it was Landis who sat with Mrs. Kennedy in a hospital hallway. He told our Leon Bibb Mrs. Kennedy did not say anything. She just stared into space. 
Well, many people are spending more of their time socializing online. In fact, as much as a fourth of the day is being spent on social networking sites. Facebook is currently the most popular. Women use it more than men, and more people are now using their mobile phones to get connected. Starting tomorrow, Facebook will automatically put your friends into smaller groups. It will be based on things like where they live or if they go to school or work with you. Facebook users were already able to group their friends themselves, but most people did not. Well, you've heard of Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but what about Target Tuesday? The retailer launched its Missoni collection today online and in stores, but the buzz over the Italian designer's line, featuring everything from clothing to patio furniture, ended up crashing Target's website several times. Now, stores across the country, including some here in northeastern Ohio, have already sold out of some of that merchandise. The Trans-Siberian Orchestra returns to Cleveland this year for a holiday concert at the Q. The TSO will have two shows on December 30th at 3 and 8 p.m. Tickets go on sale on Friday, but you can win them before that by just liking us on Facebook today. For more information, visit our website, newsnet5.com. Gentlemen, if there was a male birth control pill, and if it was available to you, would you take it? Ladies, would you trust your man with that responsibility? It is something to think about. As News Channel 5's Lee Jordan explains, now it could be an option sooner rather than later. The burden has been pretty much on women uh, to do this. But perhaps not for much longer. Doctors are testing a pill on male mice that's said to prevent pregnancy. It would work pretty much the same as the female birth control pill. You'd have to remember to take it every day, and there's always the possibility of side effects. I think men can put up with it more than women can. In fact, the drug was discovered as a side effect from a different kind of medication. This medication has been around for 10 years, and it was used for skin abnormalities. Right now, scientists are still testing it and trying to work out the kinks. Who wants to be able to have sterility, but at the cost of not being able to see? Obviously, that's not going to wash. And they want to make sure guys will still want to have sex while taking it. You have your birth control but you're no longer interested in having an interaction with your spouse or your loved one or whoever you're planning on having children with. And that's not a side effect that anyone wants. Not having the hormones pumped into my body, that would be nice. If one of you guys forgets to do it, then you know, there's the other person that hopefully has been doing it properly. I think it's good for both sexes to take precaution. But while everyone seems to think it's a great idea, some women say, don't be too trusting of your men. Because they're irresponsible. Lee Jordan, News Channel 5. And the big concern right now is testing long-term side effects. The clinical trials have only been done in eight-week periods at a time, so there are still lots of tests and questions that need to be answered. Scanning the sky with five live radars, this is your Power of Five Doppler Network weather. There is already a male contraceptive. It's called television, okay? In particular, football on television. <laughs> Here we go, Power of Five. Live Doppler Network radar, first cold front driving through the region, and as you can see, did stir up a couple of big thunder cells near Garrettsville, a quarter-sized tail, and that moved over into Newton Falls. That severe cell pushed off into western Pennsylvania and weakened. Here's the current radar screen. I know it looks like an IQ test. All the ground clutter out there. It really isn't a gigantic paint blob. It's just some humidity kind of hanging around in the air kind of muggly outside, if you will, so that kind of shows up as all this green. We are dry, and I've taken rain out of the forecast for the overnight hours. I think we're going to stay dry all night long. Here's a little hint. See all these counties in blue up here in uh, Minnesota? That's a freeze watch. See these blue counties here? Freeze warnings. This is the next front coming your way tomorrow night. Hmm. Let's go to the big boards. That's a little teaser, we call it. Big board weather maps. Cloud cover, just a few clouds here and there. I think we're going to go with a clear to partly cloudy overnight sky and stay with that. Again, dry weather on its way in. Currently 69 degrees downtown, a dew point of 63, a northeast wind at 12. Akron checking in at 73. So it's still pleasant weather out there. Notice the dew point here, 64. The humidity up there at 73%. Northwest winds at 8 miles per hour. Should be a quiet night when you get up tomorrow morning. We'll be in the upper 50s and lower 60s, so it shouldn't be too chilly for the kids getting on the bus. Norwalk, 66, 72s from Medina and Hudson, upper 60s from Mentor, Chardon, and Elyria. Storms here, 
Next cold front is here, and this is the one that's going to drop in late tomorrow night into Thursday morning and bring a real shot of chill to the region. High pressure tomorrow should bring plenty of sunshine. So if you need to do things outside, mow the lawn, walk the dog, you should be able to do it. I think uh, by late afternoon, we'll begin to see this front moving in, and that will likely bring the threat for a shower tomorrow evening through tomorrow night, and then very chilly for Thursday. 63 degrees tonight, partly cloudy, dry, mild. Tomorrow, let's do 72, sun, a few clouds. I'll mention an isolated shower coming in from the north, probably late afternoon or evening. Bus stop, kids, about 60, a few clouds and breezy. Isolated tonight, well, they're pretty much done. 58 for Akron, 73 degrees with sun tomorrow. How about Thursday? 59, lake effect rain, 62 on Friday. But the weekend, here's the payoff.